Getting to know you, getting to know all about you, getting to like you, getting to hope you like me. King of the I'm Kath. I'm 14, nearly 15, and I'm a punk, new way, suede head, skinhead sort of thing. I like all music, except heavy metal and love songs. I love Jimi Hendrix. Even though he's heavy rock, not metal. My favourite song is Ex Offender by Blondie. I'm not as into Blondie as I used to be, because everyone likes a nice and Sunday girl, and it gets on my nerves that everyone else knows who they are. My favourite telly programmes are Top of the Pops, Porridge, Seven Up, and Play for Today. The best play for today is Our Day Out by Willie Russell. It's about a load of scarce kids on a school trip and they nick some animals and it's really, really funny. My favourite film is Kez. It's been on the telly twice and I've seen it twice and I've read the book twice, but the book's called A Kestrel for an Ave by Barry Irons. My favourite book is There's a Happy Land by Keith Waterhouse. It's about this little kid from up north and a fella who's brain damaged and is flipping hilarious. I'd like to be an actress when I leave school, but I'm still waiting to get into a drama club up the Angel. I've had my name on the list since I was 12, and I still ain't had the letter, so God knows if that's going to happen. I'm in the unit at school, which is a room in the playground for all the Dumbos, and the teacher, Miss James, says I can't be an actress because I ain't got the look. So if I can't be an actress, I want to be a music journalist and start my own fanzine. I love sausage rolls from the ABC, but I hate dogs, wasps, pigeons, Thatcher, and nuns. <laughs> And I hate my dad when he's drunk. I have loads of best mates, but my favourite mate is Mary. Cos she's kind and nice and doesn't take the mick like all the others do. Get picked on a bit cos my mum's dead, so no one comes up to school to stick up for me. I'm always being told I talk too much and that I get on people's nerves. So I just put on polystyrene and x-ray specs and it makes me feel better. Some, Some people, people think little, little girls should, should be seen, seen and not heard. heard. But, but I, I think... think... Oh, bondage! Up yours! One, two, three, four! Scratches and a bit of a bruise. I didn't say anything about her, Mum. No, but I don't even know her bleeding, Mum. No, guy. You know what, mate? I wouldn't say stuff like people's dogs. I know it's out of order. I know it's wrong. People are funny about mums. Just because I don't have one, don't mean I don't know. It's like a flipping sacred territory. I did say she was fat, though. Uh, I didn't. I asked if she was fat. Or I asked. I asked little Roman if Fat Ashley's mum was fat because little Roman's met Fat Ashley's mum, and I, I, I was curious if Fat Ashley was fat because her mum's fat, or just because she was fat. But that little cow, that little Roma, turned the old thing nasty. She's a nuisance. Pint-sized piss. Cool. That fat miss taking a cup right at me nut. You all right? Oh, I've not been worse. My heart hurts more than the egg. The injustice, it fills me with such despair, man. I can't ask a simple bleeding question. We walk and I will get in the bus. Uh, we're walking, I ain't got no fare. My auntie Jean, who's not my real auntie, but my old foster mum, asked me why I'm fat when all her real kids are skinny. You're not fat. No, I'm not fat fat like Fat Ashley, but I'm fatter than most. Stocky. Well, my auntie Jean said she gave us all the same food, all the same man, and yet I'm still fatter than her real kids. That's why I asked about Fat Ashley's mum. I've seen photos of my mum, and she doesn't look fat fat, but she's got a big bum and a double chin. That's why I asked if Fat Ashley's mum was fat. I didn't say Fat Ashley's mum was fat. I asked, Mary, I asked. Is your dad fat? Oh, well, he's fat from booze. He's got a beer belly. My dad's got a beer belly. <laughs> My dad's got a beer arse, neck and legs. <laughs> Go on, do your dad. I'm not fat. Why would you call me fat? I'm your daddy. I love you. It's my name on the feckin' rent book. <laughs> what do you mean, stocky? What? 
I'm stocky. Yeah, I'd say you're stocky, not fat. You do eat a lot. Eh? You eat a lot, don't you? Do I? Well, you eat more than me. I think everyone eats more than you. Well, apart from Camilla Rackinbola, who pukes everything up. And you always have breakfast of mine, even if you've already had breakfast at home, you told me. And you're always too early. I'm not too early. Well, I'm usually still in bed when you knock. My mum says it's because you want another breakfast. What? Oh, man, that's such a show-up guy. No, it ain't. My mum don't mind. But she thinks I'm a right ponce. No, she don't. My mum likes you. She thinks you're funny. Does she? She likes your jokes. Oh, she don't like the rude ones, though. Oh, no, she don't like them. Remember when I was telling the one about the priest and the cat's ass? Oh, my God, I thought she was going to have a heart attack. We don't use that sort of language in this That's house. very, very naughty. You're a very rude a girl. very, very rude girl. Jesus, me and Joseph will be laying a whole heap of candles for you. Oh, she don't know the half of it. My dad says you can shock a docker. Ah. What's a docker? Hard nut bloke from up north. Blimey. You know when we did that, who you loved here? Yeah? How many out of ten did the boys give me for looks? I can't remember. Yeah, you can. Come on, it don't matter. How many did I get? Two. Right, that's right, two. No. I was a bit gutted, I'll admit. But how many did they give me for personality, though? Seven. Seven? Flip off, it was ten. Was it? Yeah. Ten, guy, ten. Ten out of ten for personality. But the boys like me. Not in a snogging way, I know that. But in the personality way, you know, they think I'm great. Ten out of ten. So why are some people fed up with me half the time? I don't know. I think some people wish I would just die and come back as someone like Marie Bleeding Osmond or someone. I know people think I'm rude. It's only the adults that think that. People our age don't. I always think you're funny, you've got a funny voice. What do you mean? You know, your voice, your voice, your voice, the way you say things. No, I don't know what you're on about. You've got a deep voice. Like a boy, sort of. It's like deep, man. No, it's not deep, deep. Might have had going second year with a tash, but well, you sort of sound boysy. Brilliant. There's something else you should know. What? You won't get the ump, will ya? I'm only telling you because I feel it could be important. What? Come on, tell me, I won't get the ump. When we did the Who Do You Love test, you went home after, didn't you? Yeah. Well, I sort of hung around for a bit just to have a fag and chat with his seat and the old Sullivan twins. And that older boy, Larry something. Larry Belford? That's it. Larry Belford. But he came over to say hello and he asked what we've been doing. He spoke to you? Yeah. He's 18. Is he? Yeah, anyway. Anyway, he asked what we've been doing, so he showed him the Who Do You Love test. He didn't? Yeah, we didn't. He was having a right laugh looking through him, but he was being nice. He wasn't taking the mick. Right. When he looked at yours, he wanted to know who it belonged to. Oh, he didn't tell him, did you? They're meant to be a secret. No, I didn't tell him, I swear. But he said, oh, two out of ten for looks and seven out of ten. Ten out of ten? Yeah, sorry. Ten out of ten for personality. Interesting. Very interesting. This shit needs to sort itself out because nobody wants to bunk up a nice personality. What? Did he really say that? Yep. Flipping hell. What did you say? Well, nothing. Oh, man. It's only what he thinks. He don't know everything. He's 18 there. Of course he knows everything. He goes to pubs and gigs and meets up with loads of birds. He's bound to know all about it. I suppose. Did you tell him I'm a bit special, though? Did you say I'm, like, really, really funny? Well, I didn't say anything. Why not? I got too shy. Oh, this is a flipping disaster. He wasn't being horrible, honest. And anyway, he thought Ruby Sheen's test was worse because she got mine as free for looks and nothing for personality. Yeah. yeah, you're right. And she got nothing for her body and I got two and a half for mine. That's right. Well, you know my dad drinks a bit, didn't you? Yeah. Well, sometimes he can just disappear. If he's on a big bender, we don't see him for days and we don't get a proper dinner. That's why I have to store up food, you know? Stock it up like a little squirrel so my belly's full. But don't say anything to anyone. I won't. The other night, I went to Claire McCormack's and her mum does a thing called French toast. Do you know it? No. It's just fried eggy bread, I think, but it was amazing. They've got a piano. So? Yeah, but they ain't got a telly. What? I couldn't live without a telly, guy. I don't know what to do myself. Imagine not being able to watch Top of the Pops. It was smashing last night. Great crack. There was a chap on there playing the guitar with the most beautiful head of hair. His earrings were four little dangly mirrors. 
He had on an all-in-one catsuit with snakes swirling up the legs of it. Snakes! Can you believe that? Uh. <laughs> I'd love to know what colour it was. By the looks of it, I'd say it was a yellow or a pink, because it was light and shade. It was all guesswork until we get the new television. Imagine being able to see the colour of the jockey silks on race days. Won't that be marvellous? And the Eurovision Song Contest. Imagine what that's going to look like in colour. A spangling spectacle for the eyes as well as the ears. Oh, Frankie Valley was on the pops last night. He looks great for his age. He must be in his 40s and there's not a grey hair on his head. And he has got the most beautiful suntan. Vanity is a terrible trait in a man. Do you not think he's lovely looking? I do not. He has a divine singing voice. Glorious and high. He sings like the angels.